Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this week I decided I would do a video about taking commissions. In the next three weeks, I have three conventions that I'm doing, and they're on the larger side. So this weekend I have Stockton Con, August 19th and 20th and the following weekend august 25th to 27th i will be at crunchyroll expo and september 1st through 3rd i will be at san francisco comic con as i was preparing for these conventions after having a whole month of july off i decided that i wanted to finally offer commissions at the conventions that I'll be selling at. I have been doing conventions since September of last year, so it's almost been about a year, and I've never done any sort of commissions at the conventions. And a big reason I didn't want to do this is I felt like I would be extra anxious or overwhelmed by having to try to finish something and uh, not be able to pay attention to potential customers and be engaged with others and other artists at the convention. And it just seemed like I wouldn't have enough time and I wouldn't be able to put my best work forward. And it would have been a little distracting and overwhelming. I already get pretty overwhelmed at conventions just because of all the people and all the things going on. I am definitely an introvert through and through, and while I love interacting with all you guys and other people I meet at conventions and other artists, and I am excited in the moment, I come home and am exhausted every day. Even the end of the first day, I'm pretty exhausted. So, these next three weeks, I'm going to be pretty tired. However, I realized that I could do take-home commissions, and I've been talking to other artists about this, and it seems like this is fairly common enough that that is an option. So I decided to research it a little bit and come up with a really straightforward style and sort of package specially for convention goers to get commissions from me at a reduced price. And for this, I decided I wanted to have some sort of an example or examples to show them what they would be getting. Since I haven't done any at the conventions yet, I don't have any examples, so I took it upon myself to come up with the parameters of what I will offer as these commissions and create some artwork as examples. And that is what you're seeing right now. <laughs> This first piece is a quick watercolor uh, commission example that is a 5x7 piece where it is a cute animal, so I picked a red panda, with plants and foliage as the background. And I will be showing you both this piece and a second piece on the other half of this paper from this sketchbook. And I'll take a quick sec here to mention that all of the products that I am using will be down below. And this sketchbook is the Canson XL watercolor sketchbook in, I believe seven by 10 is the size. So it works out really well for me to be able to fit two five by sevens on a sheet of paper. So that's exactly what I did here. I created this red panda on this side and you will see me actually sketching and painting the piece to the right, which is going to be a cat in a galaxy or colorful background. 
So as I was researching doing commissions, I realized that the more variety and more options a commissioner has, the more overwhelming it can be to pick something, especially if you're at a convention, you're limited on time, you want to see all the different celebrities and participate in all the different events. If you want a commission, you want to be able to sign up for one pretty quickly and know what you're getting. I am definitely someone who loves a variety, so this was pretty challenging for me to sit down and come up with a very simplified sort of checklist um, that my customers could just check off some boxes and be good to go. I wanted to quickly show off the commission form. This is almost the finalized version of this and I created a two-page document here just on Google Docs, and I have the first page, which is all the information that the commissioner needs to know about how I'm going to be taking these home. I will be shipping them out to them. Shipping is included in the price. So I put together this form, and the secondary sheet is all the information that I will need to be able to start and finish and send out the commission. So I created these two forms. They can fill out both of them, rip them apart. They keep one as a receipt after they pay me and I will have all the information I need to get started. So here you see me working on the secondary piece and I was actually pretty proud of how quickly I was able to finish this. I finished this in I think under an hour and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I have a lot of artwork that has sort of this galaxy background and they're really fun to do and not too complicated for me to paint myself. I'm familiar enough with it that I can consistently paint a galaxy that looks good to my standards at least. All right guys, I'm gonna let the rest of this speed paint play out and I will be back at the very end to show you how I put this together in my commission portfolio. I wanted to come back here at the end to show you what everything looks like all put together in this commission binder. I decided to put the second page of my commission form. Sorry for all the glare, but this plastic is gonna do that. So 
Immediately, people that are interested in getting a commission from me can look at this sheet and see what options I have. Like I've mentioned, I wanted to keep it very straightforward and only have a few options. So the size, what character or how many characters they wanted and the background. And to make it even more straightforward, I wanted to have these examples like you've seen in the beginning of the video. So here is what they all look like in here. Obviously, I didn't show you these ones. I did these quickly in the last couple days, so I had something to show for different sizes and a different background. It was really important to me that there was uh, one of each background and specifically one of each size and mediums so that people can know what to expect before paying for a commission. So I have the artist trading card size. Here is a watercolor example as well as a marker example. And I just have a quick handwritten note here pointing to each of them so that they understand this is the size, this is the medium. And then for these five by sevens, I have this really cute snail with succulents in the background. This is the plant and foliage background. And this is the galaxy slash just colorful background if they don't know what else they want. And as I take on commissions, I'm planning on filling up the backs when appropriate with other pieces that I've done, um, well, scans and printouts of ones I've done for others, um, other commissioners, so that in the future I'll have even more examples for people to look at and have an even clearer idea of what their money is buying for them. All right, guys, that is it. I hope this was a helpful video for you if you are interested in starting to take commissions at conventions. Uh, I'm excited to start using this binder and see what kind of commissions I can get at these upcoming conventions. And if you are going to one of the three conventions that I have coming up, that's Stockton Con this coming weekend. So tomorrow, the August the 19th and the next day, Sunday, August 20th or Crunchyroll Expo the following weekend, or even San Francisco Comic-Con the following weekend, please, please come by and say hi. Even if you aren't gonna buy anything, just please come say hi. I love seeing friendly faces and meeting all of you. That would be fantastic. All right, as always, I hope you have a creatively fulfilled day. Bye guys.